I left my lighter around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Have I got the right tap on? Probably. Yes. I did have a bit of rice oil. There it is. Rice bran oil in there. And take the smoked bacon, not the rotting one for the robins, but the nice fresh one for me. And oh, first time that that normally takes ages to pick that open, especially as I broke my nail the other day. Right, slop it in. And then eggs. Lovely. Leave that for a bit. So my target demographic is, uh, excuse me ladies, normally 40 to 60 year old van drivers and what can I tell them about cooking bacon and eggs they don't know already. In fact, I imagine there'll be loads of comments down below about how I'm doing it wrong. Well, <laughs> I don't care. That's how I do it. A lot of people, when they blow their nose, they can just get enough power through their sinuses to expel the mucus, but I can't do that. I'm a, a scrap, I'm a, what they call it, a sniff and swallow kind of guy, so watch this. At this point, I could hawk it up and spit it, but I'm gonna swallow it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> That's all the six eggs gone. When that bin's full, I'll just take it to the local village along with the poo bags. Put these in the regular bin, poo bags in the dog bin. Jobs are good. And... Oh, look. Oh, look, it's almost done now. And look, there, it's just sliding around perfectly in that rice bran. Oh, yeah. Just let the egg whites congeal and then it's ready. Right, I'm going to treat myself to some sauce. What have I got? Ketchup, mayonnaise, more mayonnaise. Ketchup will do. Sorry I don't have the HP sauce. I know you're going to write in and complain, but you know, these are hard times and they call for hard measures. I got these from KFC, all the sachets. Do you know what? I waited an hour total from entering the shop about, it was about 40 minutes to be served and then only took what, 15 minutes to eat the damn thing. So rubbish fast food but I felt for the staff because it was just the day before the winter lockdown and they were all probably on zero or minimum wage contracts. They were just about to lose their jobs and then they had to wait five weeks over, you know, over Christmas to get their universal credit first check. I mean, horrible. And in that time you've got to just waste 35 hours a week applying for other menial work just to get enough money for Christmas presents. I mean, they were not motivated at all, those poor staff. I feel for you KFC staff. Any, in fact, anyone who's gone through what I'm going through, I know exactly what it is. Mm. Oh. oh, that was a mouthful of raw ketchup. Those things just don't tear by themselves, do they? There you go. Oh yes, textbook. Don't think there's any salt in here. I could add a sprinkle of pepper to the bacon, why not? Enough. Oh yes, tuck in. Look at that, sunny side up, absolutely perfect with the oak yolk still wet. Oh yes. Oh, 
need a tray, don't I? Never mind. See, stains on your clothes are like scars from battle. It's people ask you how you got them and then there's a good story behind them. Of bravery, heroism, sloth. Hmm. And to Johnny Foreigner watching, whose idea of breakfast is ham and uh, cheese sandwiches washed down with a fresh yogurt. You probably don't know what the big deal is about bacon and eggs, but if you're American, Irish, Welsh, Scottish, English, Australian, you you were part of the British Empire, and this is why, Johnny Foreigner, this is why Britain ruled the world and you didn't, because your breakfast is shite. <laughs> Noble cycle continues. I wonder if it really is easier to do washing up at the time or whether I am actually exercising some degree of wisdom by leaving it for a day. I don't know. Nine o'clock yet? Eight a.m. Let me just check my hectic schedule. Where is it schedule? Oh, do you know nothing's happening this month at all? Oh yeah. Yeah, it freshens my breath for the day. In case. Someone should come in and some trespasser needs to be told to go. Just breathing on them, they get the message that, you know, you probably have behavioural difficulties. <laughs> Let's give the local wildlife a bit of fat in their diet. Now there are a lot of carnivores in here, so uh, for the ground dwelling carnivores like the stoats and the foxes I'll just chuck that willy nilly on the ground, but for the robins and, uh, and other birds that aren't strictly vegetarian, they like a little bit of protein and fat in their diet, so I'll put that up there. This stuff really stinks, I'm definitely washing my hands after playing with this. And don't leave too much of it up there, and then just sprinkle the rest through the forest. There now follows a health and safety warning from the nanny state. <laughs> to anyone that's been on a catering course, like if you run one of those uh, lay-by slap-up greasy spoons, you know all about raw meat is you keep it on the bottom shelf, it mustn't drip on anything, and if your hands touch it, you just got to clean it straight away, and you can't handle money or anything at the same time. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the health and safety announcement just wouldn't be British without a cup of tea. Fifteen minutes later. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, 
Planes are flying. Sounds like military though, doesn't it, to be fair? That goes here. Oh, now, while the tea cools, get those damn splinters off my duvet. That's pretty shocking, isn't it? It was waking me up in the middle of the night for quite a few nights, so I really need to sort that out now. Disgusting. <laughs> That'll make a nice bean bag. Make sure I don't sit on my knife or glasses or pee bottle. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Bagpuss gave a big yawn and settled down to sleep. Is it wine o'clock yet? 8 a.m. But let me just check my... Oh yeah. Fresh. Hmm. Is it wine o'clock yet? 8 a.m. Let me just check my 